It's the morning of February 1st, 2003. Space shuttle Columbia was on its way, entering the Earth's atmosphere at a speed of Mach 23 at an altitude of about 234,000 feet. Houston Mission Control lost all communication from Columbia. What just happened? This is the nail-beating story of Space Shuttle Columbia. The Space Shuttle Columbia was scheduled to launch from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The mission was named as STS-107 as it was the 113th flight of the Space Shuttle program. It was the 28th and the final launch of Space Shuttle Columbia. In February of 2001, it had received a major overhaul and updates of its system, but it was still an aging vehicle. During the launch at T plus 81 seconds, a piece of insulated foam from the external fuel tanks broke off and hit the space shuttle reinforced carbon carbon heat seals that protected it from the intense heating during re-entry. Similar foam shedding had occurred in previous space shuttle launches that led to the damage from minor to near catastrophic, but some engineers suspected that the damage to Columbia was even more serious. And one of the assumptions of this was the debris struck at a relative velocity of about 500 km per hour. Before re-entry, managers have limited the investigation, reasoning that the crew could not have done much to fix the problem and even if it had been confirmed, they couldn't do anything. And finally, when on the morning of February the 1st, 2003, the mission control at Houston did their final checks, everything looked normal. Re-entry fire director Leroy Kane gave the go to initiate deorbit and re-entry procedures. Space Shuttle Columbia was re-entering the Earth's atmosphere 10 minutes at 8.53 am at an altitude of 231,000 feet above the California coast. The hydraulic pressure was off-scale low, according to the sensors of the aft of the left wing. Soon, the loss of tire pressure was reported to the ground. Then, at 9 am, Mission Control Houston lost all communication with Space Shuttle Columbia. This loss of communication was expected during landing, but not just pure silence. Columbia Houston UHF com check. Columbia Houston UHF com check. All efforts from Houston to hail Columbia failed. Even the radar used to track it failed to locate the location of Space Shuttle Columbia. The first debris of the Space Shuttle began falling off the ground of the West Texas near Lubbock and at 9.05 am the shuttle disintegrated over Northeast Texas. People from Texas were reporting falling of debris from the sky at Texas. There was no doubt remaining that Space Shuttle Columbia and crew were lost. Making this tragedy even worse, two pilots aboard a search helicopter were killed in a crash while looking for debris. However, the worms that Space Shuttle Columbia was carrying were in good shape. NASA came under intense scrutiny in the Congress and the media for allowing the situation to continue. After this catastrophic disaster, space shuttle flights were suspended for two years just like after the previous space shuttle disaster. It turns out that the hot atmospheric gases started to get in through the RCC panel 9 through 5 which led to the hot gases to enter the vehicle's left wing and damaging the wing structure which in turn led to the breaking of the left wing and make the shuttle unstable and begin to break apart. Panel. 
एंड बाय मे 2003 द कोलंबिया एक्सीडेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन बोर्ड रिलीज अ स्टेटमेंट स्टेटेड एट अप्रोक्सीमेटली एटी वन सेकेंड्स आफ्टर लिफ्ट ऑफ पोस्ट लॉन्च फोटोग्राफिक एनालिसिस शोड दैट ए फॉर्म फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल फ्यूल टैंक टू कॉफ एंड इम्पैक्टेड द कोलम्बिया इन द विसिनिटी ऑफ आर सी सी पैनल फाइव थ्रू नाइन विच लीड टू दिस ट्रेजिडी Houston UHF comm check